Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Snacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 13th day of January 2023, I'd like to welcome you over to Jam Bullion so we can check out those spot prices. However, before that, I'm going to welcome you over to Good Morning to You at 9.30, 9.30 a.m. this morning. That's Eastern Time and 6.30 a.m. on the West Coast. Also, huge shout out and a big thank you to all of our channel members. That's $1.99 a month and that's less than seven cents per day. Really appreciate all y'all's support. Now, let's pop over here to Jam Bullion. I'm going to hit reload and see where we're at now. So it looks like gold has retreated somewhat. It's now at 904 to 1913.55. Silver's now down two cents to 23.99. Platinum to up 319 to 1086.23 and palladium up 896 to 1834.46. Wow, isn't that incredible? Gold is nearly $100 more expensive than palladium. Isn't that incredible? Now, over here to Kitco, and I thought there was a really frustrating article over here written by Niles Christensen. Title of the article is Perth Mint Sees Record Bullion Sales in 2022. U.S. Mint Sees 22% Drop in Gold Demand and 43% Drop in Silver. Okay, and I'll just pick out some of the nuggets here. I'll start off with the very first paragraph. Kitco News 2022 was a tale of two mints, with the U.S. Mint seeing disappointing gold and silver bullion demand for the year. Meanwhile, it was the best of times for the Perth Mint as it saw record sales for the silver and gold bullion products. Now, I don't know about you, but demand for American Silver Eagles and silver and gold products, it was pretty incredible this year. And I think that's why we're seeing premiums the way they are on american silver eagles you know at some point the american silver eagles had almost a 20 some odd dollar premium on them now we're about 1650 if you go to jam bullion right now look at the way they worded this this is disappointing gold and silver demand for the year now what's interesting about that particular word is that the united states mint is under i guess legal obligation to meet the demand for gold and silver bullion now i guess that gives them an out when another um, outside agency or news organization is saying eh, there wasn't really too much demand. It says their analysts have noted that the Federal Reserve's aggressive monetary policy as it raised interest rates by 425 basis points last year dampened interest for precious metal bullion in the United States. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, it says here... Um, Sales data from the U.S. Mint shows that it sold 980,000, almost a million ounces of gold last year, down nearly 20, 20, 22% from 2021, which saw sales hit a 12-year high. So if you're going into the next year knowing that that year you were just in was a 12-year high, don't you go gonzo? Yeah. Well, I think there's a really good reason they didn't. Now, meanwhile, U.S. Mint sold 15.96 million ounces of silver last year, down 43.5% from 2021 levels. And if you're familiar with 2021 American Silver Eagle Bullion, you'll remember that there was a Type 1 and Type 2 that year, and each one had about 15 million specimens struck each. So I thought that was really incredible. So yeah, we're definitely down, definitely uh, down from last year. It says here, although gold and silver saw lackluster investor interest, I don't even know where he got that one from. That just seems from the hip. The U.S. Mint was still unable to keep up with demand. Wait, what? They, there was lackluster demand. Now they're unable to keep up with the. I don't know. It feels like a math problem to me. Um, I'm going to go to the next one. The lack of demand is not outstripping the lack of supply. And that is why we're seeing these higher premiums. Folks, if you can translate that, let me know what they're saying there. Um, yeah. Now, it says here, although U.S. investors weren't interested in silver last year, a record amount of the precious metal flowed into India, and now it is estimated that India imported more than 8,000 tons of silver last year. I think this is very disjointed, and I don't really, yeah, I'm going to keep on keeping on, but I thought you ought to know that um, this is a very important article, uh, and I'm not, not sure uh, if it's completely sunk in just yet, but this is a huge, huge important article uh, right now. And um, I'm going to get back to it probably in the live chat this morning. Now, this is out of coinnews.net, and this is by Mike Unser. U.S. Mint sales slow first week for 2023. Absolutely. Very slow. Numismatic sales were sluggish for the United, United States Mint during the first week of 2023. Expect more of the same in the next few weeks. U.S. Mint sales should be down for a while with the very first 2023 data products for collectors not launching until January of uh well this year january 30th of this month actually so and that's going to be the american innovation coin featuring ohio with the underground railroad and i do believe that is going to be um, one of the coin of the year nominees it says snapping a streak of three slightly improving weeks the latest mint stats showed lower volumes of sales with only 27 products outperforming their prior weekly increases compared to 65 
Wow. Yeah, definitely they've hit the brakes, right? 17 products posted negative sales against three in the previous report. Now, I think that's just basically them, you know, reconciling all the orders and whatnot. The reductions were modest, though, with the highest tag to the older 2021 data proof set, which dipped by only five units. Yeah, that is pretty meager. Now, here we go. The uh, weekly U.S. Mint top sellers starting off with the top spot, and that is the 2022 West Point uncirculated Silver Eagle which showed up with an 826 um, product total. I mean, that is not much, right? Normally, we're seeing like 5,000, 4,000, 3,000 for the top spot sales. That's pretty low. Now, the number two spot is taken by the uncirculated mid-set from 2022. The number three spot is the silver uh, proof set in 2022. As you can see, the proof set from 2022 is not even on here because it is sold out or unavailable. Either way, I uh, don't think you're going to see it unless it just trickles out here and there. Now, look at this. Uh, we got the American Innovation Dollar Reverse Proof Set. Sold 355 to 45,729, folks. And remember, this has a product limit of 50,000. Now, the fifth spot's coming in for the American Innovation Dollar Proof Set. Add a 300 to 107,000. And this one doesn't really have a uh, limit like the Reverse Proof Set does. Now, the sixth spot's coming in here, the Limited Edition Silver Proof Set. And like I say, every time I see this, I would love to see it have a privy mark or a reverse proof finish, not just, you know, the limited edition packaging, uh, matrimony of two uh, particular products. Now, seven spots coming in, the American Liberty Silver Medal. And I think that is the one where Allison Dune did sign um, in addition to the Dune dollar of the congratulations set. So that one's still selling, and that one has a mintage limit or product limit of 75000 So they're about 13 away from there. 2022 American Innovation Dollar Proof Set. And then number nine is the 2021 uncirculated set. And then the 10th spot is the reverse proof American Palladium Eagle. Check that out. When has Palladium ever been in the top 10? And I can tell you, folks, this is probably the reason why here, yeah, it's it's less expensive than gold right now. And it's clearly um, hit the top 10 at 129. Now, maybe it wouldn't have hit the top 10 had the first spot been, you know, four or 5,000, right? But that's definitely something to look at and consider. Why is it that the Palladium Eagles are selling nicely right now? Yeah. Now, here we go. Morgan Peace Dollars. Nothing going on there. Now, here we have the two commemorative coins from last year. There's the negative sales. And the half dollar lost nine. That's right. So, there we go. Lost two there for the proof silver dollar and lost one for the proof half dollar. Dig those coins. Now, let's keep on keeping on. Air for, uh, Armed Forces, silver medals. The Air Force didn't sell anymore. And they've only sold 15.5. But the U.S. Coast Guard, I mean, they're up to about 30,000, maybe 28,000 total available for this particular uh, metal. And I would, well, I would wonder, is the Mint going to add that much more for the uh, one ounce um, Armed Forces metal from the Air Force? And will they continue to add product for the duration while this set is available? It just makes me scratch my head. Now, here we go. American Liberty Silver Metal, 274. Going to keep on keeping on. Look at that. Clad Proof Sets from 2021. Lost five. And look at, there we go, the American Innovation Dollars Proof Sets and Reverse Proof Sets, or just rather, um, oh, Innovation Dollars Proof, 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 and Proof. Steady sales. Look at that one, 300 even, Stephen. I wonder why. Now, here we go, Silver Proof Sets. Look at that, American Women Quarters Silver Proof Set sold 40 of those. And what's interesting about that is that I don't think this set gets the love that it deserves, and it is fractional silver. Although it is $73, I think people are picking these up for about 50 bucks on eBay. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it is a unopened or unchecked American Women Quarters Silver Proof Set. I always dig an unopened set that uh, has not been looked over, right? Now look at that, 2022 limited edition silver proof set. Yep, sold 288. But look at this uncirculated set, 696. 157 on the 2021. And remember that 2021 um, features that Washington crossing the Delaware quarter. And that is a one-off. And they had made that for about three quarters of the year. So that's a very special coin. And look at these numbers for the uncirculated sets. That's the lowest one in quite some time is the 2020. And then we're about 250 on this one and about 250 on 2022. So, yeah, definitely low mintages. And I would really like to see um, the United States Mint even go lower. Um, could you imagine U.S. Mint uncirculated sets at about 150 to 170,000? Yeah, that would put them on the map for sure. Now, let's keep on keeping on proof and reverse proof Silver Eagles. The 2022S lost two there. And no other sales for the Eagles at all in the very first week there. 
Very slow, very slow indeed. Now, let's keep on keeping on. I'm running out of time here. And I want to show you that the United States um, uh, American the Beautiful Quarters, the list of the three coin set has been taken off of the um, schedule here on these um, charts. Now, look at this American Palladium Eagle, a 2.06% increase now that we're seeing the um, prices for palladium come down. Less than gold, folks. Isn't that amazing? So what would you do with this opportunity now that palladium is less expensive than gold? Do you join these people and say, yeah, it's time to get in on it, right? So presidential silver medals, and this Polk one is still unavailable. All the other ones are good to go. And I think the next presidential silver medal we'll be getting is the Abraham Lincoln medal. So that should be pretty cool. Um, reverse proof sets, 45, 729. And like I said, you're only going to get about 50,000, maybe 50,000 there tops. So that is it, except for the um, American Women Quarters. And pretty soon, in about a month and a half, maybe a month or so, we're going to be seeing, actually a month from a, a month and a day, we're going to be seeing the Bessie Coleman Quarters release. So that should be really cool. And you want to make sure that all of your information, your shipping information, your credit card information, your payment information is up to date. Um, I think these are going to be very important, just like last year's American Women Quarters are. There we go. Bam. Okay, Anime Wong, 75, uh, 50, 75, 77, still the lowest of the three roll. Look at that, 1832, 1840, still, bam, 1832 is the top dog there, and then 1820 there. And then Sally Rides, I believe, um, no, 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 is it, uh, bu, 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 bu. there we go. That's the lowest of the two roll sets, and that's the now quarters. So these are all over um, the map as far as the lowest mintages. But, you know, as far as next year, the Mint has increased the numbers. And if you look at the numbers and you compare them and contrast them to this year and next year or whatever, you're going to see that these particular quarters, I think, still hold their value on eBay. Um, I'm seeing the Bessie Coleman quarters still sell for some decent money. In fact, more than some of the now quarters are on the PDS rolls. Isn't that incredible? Now, let's go to those plus ones today, folks. Bam. Whoops, that's not a bam. That's a bam, bam. Knock, knock, who's there? Knows, knows who? I knows plenty more knock, knock jokes. That's from Women's Day. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I knows plenty more knock, knock jokes. Now, let's head over here to the next one. Bam. And this is Psalm 67, 1 and 2. And this is basically a prayer for the arrival of the Messianic era when all mankind will worship God and earn his blessing. So it says here, may God be gracious to us and bless us all and make his face shine upon us that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. That's Psalm 67, folks. Now let's bump over here to 99.9. Three nines fine, K-O-I-N, Coin News Network. And this is Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Teach your children. And I want to say, George gave me this, and I really appreciate that, sir. Hope you dig it. I don't think there's any lyrics on screen, but it is a cool song. So there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker. I need some water.